In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how you can make adjustments to part of your photograph by using the Adjusted Brush tool. It's one of the seven tools in Regional Adjustment Tools in the upper left corner. I have a photograph that we've loaded and we're going to click on here and we're going to the, go to the fourth tab from the left, Adjustment Brush. Now when you open that up, you're going to see the brush itself, which basically is the area we have outlined here. But then you also have a lot of controls that will affect only the area that you brush. Now brushes use masks. They create an area called a mask that you can use to specify certain kinds of changes for only one part of your image. Now here, for example, we have a face that's pretty blurred out. Let's assume we want to make it a, a little sharper, a little clearer. So I'm going to use my zoom tool and I'll zoom in on this young woman's face. And what I'd like to do is add some features to it using this tool. The way we're going to do it is we're going to use our brush mask. It automatically defaults to a new mask. You can use up to five of them. So I have to make sure that my zoom tool is unchecked. Now I get my brush. I can change the size of it. And what we're going to do basically is just cover uh, the skin of her face and her ears. And so we basically paint our mask on. We brush it on. And kind of like a facial in this case. And when I'm done, I will resume this tutorial. Now when you're using a brush, you might find that you want to change some areas. You can click on the eraser option on the left side and that will turn it to removing parts of the brush. The easier way is to use the Alt key and then when you press the button, it will remove. You notice it turns into a negative sign instead of a positive sign. So a plus and then if, if, I'm, if I have the eraser mark for negative, if I click the Alt key down, then it will add automatically. But if you want to be very careful, what you uh, ought to do is zoom in and take care of every single pixel that you can. Now, one nice thing about the brush tool, as opposed to the other way in which we can do this by using an adjusted selection, is you can be precise all the way down to the pixels. So you can be very, very precise. Now here I've done it and I've brushed over her eyes and mouth. I don't want to change those. So I'm going to take my mouse wheel and make it smaller. That does the same as the size. So you can do one of two ways. I'll hit the minus and I'll unmask her eyes and I'll unmask her teeth. Again, if I were going to be real precise, I'd zoom in and do both of these carefully. But yeah, I want you to see the principles. Now, any adjustments that we use, we can do a little more plus here, and I can hold the Alt down if I go over her chin and her neck and do a minus. Very easy. So now I have a mask. It doesn't include her eyes or her mouth. If we want to make some changes in that area, let's assume we want to increase the vibrance a little bit. We'll take this and we'll dial this up a little bit. And that's better. Uh, saturation is something you can also use, but you have to use this very simply or it, it'll look garish. Like if I draw it, drag it up to here, it doesn't exactly do a lot of good. Maybe five incre increments at the most. But you notice only her face is changing, nothing else in the image. We'll increase the sharpness a little bit. There we go. Let's do a before and after. So there is the before and here is the after. And all we've done is modify her complexion a little bit using this tool here uh, by using a mask. And as I said, you can use multiple masks. Another thing you can do with a mask is change a specific area. Let's assume that, uh, let me take the hand here. Let's assume that we want a stripe on her shoulder. <laughs> well, we'll just create a mask. We'll draw a mask to do that. So I'm going to go here and I'll but click the down arrow that will give me new. I'll have a new mask and I'm going to unclick the hand and let's just draw a stripe down her shoulder. And again, the one thing about the brush tool is you can be very precise. We go into pixels by enlarging it. And let's say I want to change the temperature of that. So we'll change the temperature into the blue. Can make it purple, turquoise, 
and now she has a stripe on her shoulder. And we've changed just that section that we masked using the brush tool. So that's the advantages of making masks using the brush tool. You can be very precise. Uh, you can be very careful. There are other occasions where you can create a mask using the next tool. And we'll talk about that in the next tutorial.